I have hopped onto my SCCM server. We're going to go ahead and log into it. All right, now what we need to do is run the installation. So I'm going to click on, I'm going to go into my files. And I'm going to run the setup file. We're going to install this. So what we're going to do now, once the uh, actual menu comes up, we're going to run the pre-checker as you can see here because we need to make sure all the uh, prerequisites are taken care of so I'm going to click on run the prerequisite checker okay so here we type in the SQL server name SCCM-SVR1 we do the same thing Okay, once we type in the server name and give it the fully qualified domain name, we're going to click on OK, and that's going to go on and go out there and check and make sure everything is installed. Click OK. And success, because we had taken care of all the prerequisite beforehand, we have no error messages. If there were error messages, or if certain things were not installed, it'll list them here with a red sign with, a, with an amber um, exclamation point and then you have to go in there and take care of them. This, since everything's okay, we can proceed. We click OK. And now we can proceed with the um, installation of Server 2000 uh, Configuration Manager 2007 Service Pack 1. So I just clicked on it. You will server setup, which we have. She doesn't know the name of the computer running SQL. It's this one, we know that. We've re reviewed the release notes. We've already done that. I mean, it's a good idea for you to go back there and release, read the release notes. Okay, so we're ready to go. We're going to hit next. And we're going to be installing the uh, configuration manager site server we're not doing an update or upgrade or anything it's the first instance we're installing we're gonna hit next okay here it wants you to accept the terms accept the terms hit next All right, now we can do a custom setting or we can do a simple install. Simple install will go and install all uh, the uh, necessary uh, components of SCCM. But we'll do a custom install just so you can see what's going on. And we need to install this on a primary database and a primary site. We're always going to have, uh, you always need to have a primary site beforehand. Once um, you have a primary site, all the other uh, secondary sites will, or children's sites will connect to it. Once your organization gets extremely large, then you'll have secondary sites, but we're not concerned with that at this moment. We're going to click on, since this is the very first one, I'm going to click on primary site and hit next. All right, do you want to participate, Microsoft? It's up to you. I, I, I leave no and hit next.